So what we have, we have the Great Barrier Reef down here. We have coral, uh, we have some fish, uh, we have some crabs, you know, here. We might even have some turtles. But coming into the Great Barrier Reef are some rivers. Now we have one river, which is the catchment is got a lot of native vegetation there. So the water that's flowing down this river is essentially clean. There's no sediment load, there's no nitrogen, phosphorus or pesticides or other things. But this other catchment, what we have is farmers sitting over here, growing sugarcane, uh, grazing cattle, whatever. They have a need to support themselves for their own livelihood and so they are making money from this land. It's, it's important. They, these are people, they need to support themselves in the community. But in doing that, there is a pollution load, sediment load, which comes down here and can affect the reef. You might have the case that this part of the reef is dying. Okay, so we draw a skull and crossbones. But what you have over here is a bunch of tourism operators. They've built big hotels and they've got boats which take people out to the reef and they're all collecting the money from that. So they are benefiting from this and the people over here, they're getting money themselves, but what is happening to the reef? We're not valuing the reef. The reef uh, is there. It's a very important natural asset. This tourism operation couldn't survive without it. There's also an airport. We've got some aeroplanes flying in, bringing people from all over the world. But this can't be sustained. If the reef dies, all of this operation closes. So what do you do? These people are making lots of money. They might be making you know, $100,000 a year. Maybe we'll, we'll scale that up a bit here, yeah, make it slightly, maybe they're making a million dollars a year. But where does that benefit? Are they paying for the use of the reef? And they're not, cap they're benefiting from this, but they're not able to transfer the money back to here. If this pe these people over here, instead of agriculture, could be encouraged to plant trees, then you'd stop this pollution you get less pollution and you get a better reef system. This is where the government steps in. It says, OK, we will set up a system. We will charge people to visit the reef. We maybe put a tax on the incoming passengers and on the hotels and we will collect money. You know, and we might collect $100,000 of that money and then we'll send it up to these people. So instead of growing this sugarcane, you encourage them to undertake more sustainable land use practices. You essentially purchase the ecosystem services from them. So you pay them to plant trees. Once again, you get some koalas, you get some kangaroos. Oh, you can see my kangaroos aren't so great. 